So are we going to have any programming language extinction extinction event in 2021-2022? Short answer is I don't think so, and that's because the top 10 or 15 programming languages today are pretty refined and sophisticated, no matter which one you use, except for Ruby. And so as a result of that, I don't think they're going to go anywhere anytime soon. Now, programming language extinction events have happened in the past. The most notable, I think, is Flash Action Script, which happened around 2011, 2012, when Steve Jobs, he pretty much put the nail in that coffin and destroyed Flash, um, per apparently personal vendetta of his. That being said, um, language extinction events are very rare because it takes some sort of seismic, I don't know if that's not a word, seismic, a huge event, there we go, it takes a huge event to cause a programming language to go extinct, something very big. Uh, so it doesn't happen too much these days. Like, I think Delphi is another one that comes to mind. I'm sure some people still use it, but it's very, 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 very little compared to uh, where it was at, at one point. I think it was Borland who created Delphi. Anyhow, so uh, you look at the top 10, maybe 15 programming languages that are in use today. Java, JavaScript, Python, PHP, C Sharp, C++, C, and, you know, depending on the list, you might see TypeScript up there, or Go, or R, etc. I don't think you're going to see any of these languages go extinct like you saw ActionScript go extinct. Because, again, for a language to go extinct, there has to be some huge change in the landscape that forces the language to go away. So with Flash Action Script, what happened there is Steve Jobs said, eh, those Adobe people, they really rubbed my rhubarb the wrong way. That's what he said. He said, Steve Jobs said, Adobe rubbed my rhubarb the wrong way, and so I'm going to rub their rhubarb. And he decided to put a nail in the Flash coffin. Uh, well, he put a stake through its heart, really. And uh, so he said, no Flash on... Uh, iPhones and iPads, it's too slow, it's too buggy, it, will, it has too many security problems. By the way, all those reasons are actually true. But Steve Jobs really wanted to kill Flash because Flash was a growing and it was a very important platform for web development in its day. But um, it had those problems. It was buggy, it was slow, it had, it had kind, a lot of security issues. Uh, in theory, Adobe could have fixed it, but uh, uh, Steve Jobs decided to fix it instead. That was one of the last events. So if you're looking at programming languages today, any of the top 10, go to all these different lists, Tyobi list, and there's a whole bunch of others out there. You can't go wrong with any of them. I don't think any of these are going to go extinct anytime soon. And again, as I've said in many videos, even if they should, which would be rare, uh, you will be able to transfer the skills from, let's say, uh, C, C++ over to Java like this, over to C Sharp like this, over to PHP like this, even Ruby. Anyway, all right, that's about it. Now, Ruby's fine. Don't worry about it. If you like slow code, write Ruby. No, I'm just kidding. I just, I just rag on Ruby for fun. All right, um, that's it for today's lesson. Oh, by the way, if you want to get mentored, by uh, a software developer who's been in the game since the 1990s, published author, trained some of the most successful developers in the game today. Uh, check out my mentoring program, links below. I also have, that's where you get the human support and the coaching and so on. But I also have my solo learn courses, which are super inexpensive, links below. Uh, but they're very different from anything else you're gonna see in the market, very, very different. If you've had trouble learning how to code before, your problems are over. Just check out the links below. All right, enough of this shameless self-promotion. Thanks for watching.